You've heard of fly fishing, but what about sky fishing? We've caught two red tails and a Cooper's hawk. I'm gonna hand you this pigeon. That's all right, buddy. Your work's done here. Your work's done. Using live pigeons as bait, these Arizona game and fish biologists are trying to catch birds of prey that are flying south for the winter. Run it through the ring behind you. Yeah, the goal of this project is really to learn more about uh, how raptors are migrating through Arizona and identify those important habitats. Knowing which routes they use the most will help game and fish conserve and protect those high traffic flyways. One of the big things that uh, concerns that there are is that we put up wind turbines in areas where we've got high concentrations of migrating raptors, and we just want to make sure that we avoid that. The Aubrey Valley near Seligman, Arizona is a known hotspot for raptor migration. We've got this valley here, low valley, uh, with these sharp rise to the cliffs. Um, and so any wind blowing creates an updraft for the raptors to ride along and migrate south uh, with, with little to no effort. It's a site that we've done migration counts before, and it's a site that we've seen some of the higher concentrations of, of migrating raptors. Is that a prairie falcon? I couldn't tell. It's very difficult to, to catch raptors. We're bringing them in by uh, luring them with um, a live pigeon, which has a little jacket on him. So if the raptor does get a hold of it, it'll protect that pigeon. The protective leather jacket is tied to strings that the biologists can manipulate from their blind. So Kyle here is, uh, is popping this pigeon up into the air and and the pigeons flop in, and then he's catching them as he comes back down. What that's signaling is a bird in distress to these raptors as they're flying by. And if they're hungry at all, they'll, they'll come check it out because they think it's a, a good, easy meal for them. There's some coming in. We had a kestrel that uh, did a quick flyby. Our overall objective is to uh, uh, trap some of those larger uh, uh, Budio species, uh, red-tailed hawks, ferruginous hawks, Swainson's hawks, at which point we'll be able to put a transmitter on them and we'll use that transmitter to track their migration throughout Arizona. When a raptor approaches, they pull the pigeon into a trap that they'll spring once the raptor is in position. got a young red-tailed hawk. Looks like a small guy, so we may not put a transmitter on him. So we're gonna take a handful of measurements. They banned the bird so it can be identified at future sightings. She's bigger than the others that we've had. By weighing the raptor, they find out if it's big enough to carry a transmitter. Uh, the transmitters we're using, we uh, uh, make sure they're less than 3% their body weight. This juvenile red-tailed oh. hawk is a bit too small, so it's released back into the wild without a transmitter. None of the birds captured here in 2019 was large enough for a transmitter. But in 2020, the biologists had access to smaller transmitters, which made a huge difference. Yeah, we had some success. We did get transmitters out on uh, four or five different species now. That's exciting that we have multiple species uh, that we can look at because they all behave a little bit differently. These solar-powered units should last for years. Most are programmed to transmit location information and other data every day or two using cell phone networks. I've been checking them every day just because it's something new every day. Among the birds he's tracking is a Swainson's hawk that made its way to Columbia, and a red-tailed hawk that's wintering in a coastal town that many Arizonans are familiar with. It migrated down toward Rocky Point in Mexico. It's using some more coastal areas. Uh, it's also using some areas within the town itself of Rocky Point. 
This project started in the fall of 2019. The biologists plan to deploy more transmitters each year until they have a much better understanding of Arizona's migratory flyways. Yeah, there's, there's always something to learn and, and uh, it's, it's better to learn it this way so that you don't find it out the hard way uh, in, in you know, building uh, infrastructure or wind turbines right in the path of these migrating raptors. <laughs> 